Welcome to TradersArmy.com, defending your right to build wealth and preserve capital for generations to come. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's edition of The Daily Market Commentary. I am your host, Chuck Fulkerson. Hope everybody had a great trading day yesterday as we are lining up for a Tuesday. Yesterday, I kind of expected a little bit more of a bearish uh, sentiment. I really felt like uh, we would uh, we would fall back, and it turns out it was a fairly bullish day. Uh, but none of the trades that we had uh, set up on, on the equities really met entry anyway. Uh, however, uh, I, do, uh, I do kind of feel this about the rally. Meh, as we didn't get a huge rally out of that level. Uh, we got a little bit of a push higher, but really nothing to write home about. So we'll see what today does. For those of you new to the channel, make sure that you click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Uh, and also for those of you that are interested in the live trading room, go to tradersarmy.com, sign up for a free subscription, and you'll get an email on how to join us in live trading rooms this week. This is our free preview week, so you'll get a chance. We added an extra day on there, so we're going to have three live trading rooms this week for, uh, for no tuition, uh, no subscription fee, if you feel like joining us. All right, diving in. Let's go to the S&P. So looking here at the S&P, um, we have slightly higher lows, slightly lower highs. Uh, this is exactly the same. It, it really hasn't changed from yesterday, except for the fact that we broke the bottom of this trend line. Now it doesn't, you know, once again, this wasn't a breakout setup. It was just me pointing out the fact that we were kind of pinching um, and we broke the bottom and now we're kind of riding the bottom of it. And that break happened really late in the afternoon. We, we looked more bullish throughout the day. Now, interestingly enough, the uh, the the S&P is, is up about 13 in pre-market trading. The, the NASDAQ is up about 54. So the, so the NASDAQ is up three quarters of a percent. The S&P is up half a percent in pre-market trading. Uh, so the NASDAQ is actually slightly outperforming the S&P overall uh, in, uh, in its movements. And where, whereas in the, in the S&P, we had lower swing highs and lower swing lows. In the NASDAQ, we're really just kind of chopping and basing around. So for me right now, this leaves me to really doing not a whole lot. Um, I, you know, taking a look at the NASDAQ and the S&P, in both of these, um, I've not got a lot set up, uh, you know, on these uh, for these positions today. I've got a little bit of a short breakout set up in the Russell uh, futures market, but other than that, I'm uh, I've I've got uh, I've got just these levels here in the S and P and the Nasdaq, and I'm not comfortable yet putting a uh, putting a position out there on either of these. I would be more comfortable if I got a little bit of a of a better break uh, breakdown scenario set up, but I don't have that at the moment. So I'm just kind of holding off and I'm going to wait. I'm going to let, let the market come to me. You know, a lot of really good trading is hurry up and waiting. Uh, and it's being patient, letting price kind of come to our areas and come to our levels. Uh, you know, I still we still do have this area of supply up above us in the NASDAQ that could still be valid. Uh, my my problem with it originally when it was set up was I just didn't really love the afternoon setup for it, uh, but could still be a, a valid reversal point when price does get up into there. Crude oil. Now, crude oil, I am looking at a potential short breakdown trade uh, below our gap fill. So we had a, and yesterday I kind of pointed this little level out. We have this area here that's been touched once, uh, twice, uh, we've hit it a third time, and now we're coming back to it again. And so the more often a level gets hit, the better that it that it stands that it may become a potential breakout point. And that's kind of what we're setting up here in crude oil. So for crude, I'm going to put it below 70.55 um, for a potential breakdown. I think that we, you know, we're chopping around above here fairly nicely. I'd like to see us base a little bit more before we get there. And that would really solidify the need, the, the, the chance here for a breakdown in crude oil. 
Gold, that same breakdown trade that I set up yesterday does still remain in effect. I'm going to leave that one in play. Uh, we still also have this uh, reversal potential right here, but none of that has come in. I still have a, a fairly decent reversal point up above us. We've just not made it back up to there yet. So those of you that that uh, that caught some of this run higher, there's no reason for you to get out of that position. If you are still long, I would move your stop below this area here because I know a lot of you uh, rode that thing up as well. In the bond arena, so in bonds, uh, once again, very similar to what we're getting in the S&P, uh, uh, just, just chopping along, not a whole lot happening on that one. Uh, in the Aussie, also, uh, you know, we've got this little level here where we, we did uh, come very close to it in the overnight sessions, but we were unable to, to come down into it. So what that tells me is, is that this is a less probable level right? Because we came so close to it. So now what I've got to do is change my trade to a dashed line style. So in the Aussie, we've changed our trade to a dashed line style. Uh, in the Euro, we're still in between our levels. Nothing has changed. So not a whole lot to do from yesterday. Canadian dollar, we hit the level here, started to move down. Uh, on the trade feed, the trade for those of you that are Traders Army subscribers, yes, yesterday in the trade feed, uh, I think we, we put out to move stop down to break even as it did start to move away. Uh, and actually, at that point, you want to move your stop to this area in here to lock in a little bit of profit as now this area is kind of coming back through. So I'm going to take this area off the chart. Um, if uh, if managed the trade uh, correctly, then you are uh, made a little bit of a profit, maybe a break even on that thing. But it's now come back up uh, against us in the other direction. And we're just going to leave that thing as is. Uh, looking at Great British Pound, Japanese Yen, we didn't come into our area in the pound or the yen. Uh, neither one of those have come uh, to fruition. So if you notice, most everything that we set up yesterday, um, all, all the trades, and this is, some people ask me, are there ever days that you don't trade? Yes, there are. Um, you know, of all the, uh, we, we showed it, we set up 12 there's 12 markets we look at every day. And out of the 12 markets we look at every day, yesterday only one met entry. And that one that met entry, um, the, the, uh, the, I guess the trade, uh, the trade idea on that was to move your stop to break even. So yesterday was one of those days where it was a whole lot of nothing going on. And those are the days where it's most tempting as a trader to break your rules. Understand, there's, there's nothing that says that I have to trade every day. There's no law out there that says, oh, I got to get something today. I don't. I'm going to wait for my pitch. Think of it like baseball. If you've got a pitch coming and you don't like the pitch, don't swing. Wait for your pitch. And if the pitch is, uh, is the right one, then you can hit it out of the park. And, this, and, and there's many days where, where I will have six or seven things on this, on this, uh, on the, of these 12 markets meet entry. And then there's days like yesterday where one meets entry and it's a break-even trade. Uh, doesn't mean it's a bad day. Matter of fact, that's a good day uh, because it, it just means it's a day that gives me a chance to follow my rules and my levels are still valid. So if you've got any questions, please feel free to send me an email, support at tradersarmy.com. Uh, those of you that are interested in the free uh, live trading room next week, uh, go to tradersarmy.com, sign up for this free subscription, and at least you'll get to see how we run them and how they work. All right, everybody, I hope you have an absolutely amazing week. I will uh, talk to you tomorrow. Peace out.